Welcome back. Today, I decided to move on from Taco Bell, move on to the finer things in life, which are steak and shake. Today, I got a single steak cheeseburger with uh, ultra premium honey roasted hardwood floor <laughs> roasted bacon on it with mayo, ketchup, mustard, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, and I also got a fruit loop milkshake and some fries, which they cheaped me out of, by the way. Thanks a lot, Steak and Shake. So, all right. You know, usually I start off with the main course, but today we're gonna start off with this Fruit Loop milkshake. Right off the bat, it looks a little crappy. All right, number one, my cherries hidden in the corner, all right? Looks like a gay little unicorn puked in this cup. I can't even get out the name. I don't even think that actually is the cherry. I don't know what that is. All right. It smells like warm cereal. Like. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. It smells like just like old stale cereal that they found in the bag and they're just like, oh, let's stick a little bit on a little vanilla milkshake. Because you can tell just by the little flakes on top, it looks that it's old, dog. This whipped cream just falling apart. It's been like melting under the lights because we ordered in this thing so you know it's been sitting there for a little bit i can't even eat this thing with this straw the pieces of cereal are chewy it's like chewing bread in your milkshake like that's all I can describe that as because you can't drink it because they like took big old chunks like this big of the cereal in there they didn't yeah it's cold they didn't even like grind it up like they should you know that makes sense Let's do a little unboxing of this. Here's the lid. Looks pretty nice. Let's set that right here. All right, here we go. Looks like not much to it, honestly. Look at those big pieces in there. Like, how? You ask me if I want a straw? Give me a dang shovel, all right? There ain't no way I'm gonna be able to scoop up that crap through this tiny little thing. My God, I don't even know how you make chunks of Fruit Loops that big. I mean, you know, like, I don't know how they do it. Is it so stale that they just break the little things apart? Cause they didn't match it up like they should have, you know? It looks like, it's like soft pieces of like colored bread is how I describe it, okay? It has no flavor. All I taste is like the vanilla ice cream. So, Fruit Loops. Like, all right, I'm a big fan of fruity cereals. This milkshake is just a letdown, all right? We got that disappointment out of the way. Get over here. All right, we're gonna move on to the main course. Here's the little fries. They just look like sad 
sad, like soggy. Just some craps, all right. Here's the burger. Let's unwrap this. All right, got a little straggler of tomato. All right, so here it is. Looks like everything's falling out of it. They didn't really put stuff in there. This bacon, like see how it's supposed to like look crispy, but it's just soggy and just like done with life. All right, and just like, it's like they painted on the crispiness of it. So, all right, let's do a little unboxing of this. Bun's gonna fall apart. All right, I can't take off the bun. But basically, there's bacon, then cheese, and the patty. Ugh. That patty does not look that good. It looks like the thinnest, saddest piece of meat on the face of this earth. Like, look at the thickness. I don't know if my cameraman can get a good, look at that. That looks like a crispy end of like something you burnt. Not like that's supposed to be a patty. That does not, it's like what they do. That, mm -mm. like look right here, the end of that, it's so thin. Like no wonder they have like options to get three patties of meat on here because three equals one. All right, here's the rest of it. I got some onions. I just got everything I could get on here to really give the full, full picture of this. I've never in my life seen little shreds of pickles be put on a burger before like this. Like, this looks like plankton from like Spongebob or something. I'm used to the little rounds, but all right. And then it looks like we got the condiments on the bottom bun and the lettuce and then the tomato and the pickles. All right, so let's just put this back. So far, steak in shape. Seems like a negative goes right in. All right. This is the saddest piece of meat I've ever seen. Like, whatever. All right, so let's just take a bite. I'll get the sad piece of bacon in here. That bacon is like sugar coated, man. It is, that's all I taste. And it's chewy. It's not crispy. Like I said, it's like soggy, like just the saddest imitation bacon I've ever seen. Like obviously it's probably real bacon, but like the lowest quality you can get. Like I'm pretty sure they described it as like hardwood smoked bacon. What does that mean? They have some leftover hardwood and they're just using the chips of it to smoke it? Like, who uses hardwood flooring <laughs> as smoking flavor for bacon? Ooh, these shoes taste very good. They've been walking all over the hardwood. Nope, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. I don't understand that, but all right, let's take some more ganders at this.
You know, this burger is very greasy, but I don't think it's grease. I think it's a tomato because we all saw that dried up pieces. Sad, sad excuse for meat that was on it. That ain't juicy. That junk's been dried up, sitting in the back. It's probably freezer burned. I can't even taste it, honestly. All I taste is like pickles, honestly. Pickles and some bun. Ow. <laughs> well, that is pretty good. All right, let's take some more bites, all right? Maybe it'll grow on you. Every bite has a different flavor. Like that tasted like how that's supposed to taste. It's like they put some Fruit Loops in here and some sugar. That does not. I don't know what's supposed to be so sweet on this thing. That was really sweet. I don't know if it's the bacon. I don't, I think, I don't think I got any bacon in that bite. I don't know what the crap that is. But that bite was gross. All right, let's taste the bacon. The bacon's texture is so weird and it doesn't even taste like meat. It just tastes like you're chewing up some like hard but yet chewy bland nothing. Like some chewy paper. That's what it tastes like. I would not pay extra to get this crap put on the burger, alright? I wouldn't do it. I need a burger. I can't do it again though. Alright. Alright. Let's move on to these sad fries. These things are cold as can be. Alright. Uh -uh. No good. Ugh. Tastes like crap, dude. It's so cold and just like not how fries are supposed to be at all. I don't like skinny fries either. Like McDonald's fries, they're all right. You know, it's the right amount of skinniness. But like these fries, it's like, why? What's the point of this? What's the point of having a fry this skinny? Are you trying to win the skinny fry competition with this sad of excuse? You know, I need to heat it up over my dang candle. Mm. I actually warmed it up. Not so bad when you heat it up over a candle. Like I burnt it a little bit. That's not so bad. Alright. I say if you're gonna order online and get this crap, well don't get this. I mean do not get that. But if you get a cup of fries, I hope you have candy nearby. You're gonna need it. 